Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Talon coming back at you and we're in a game that I probably won't show very many replays or videos of um, because I just don't play it very often. Um, so I picked up this account off a really good friend of mine who's run into some pretty rough times um, because of the local economy around where I live and um, he really needs some money. So he said, could you maybe take this account over and I'll buy it back from you later feel free to play it as much as you can or want and I thought okay I haven't played World of Tanks for a long time back in the day I played it an awful lot um, so I took his account and um, I changed the name of my main account to a different name and I put my play name on this because I'm gonna play this this account a lot because he has a lot of really cool tanks that I don't have and it'd be really cool for me to kind of uh, play him and try him out right so anyways one of the tanks he's got is this really interesting tank it's the um, PZ4 um, uh, hydro stat and basically what this was was a really cool concept that the Germans had probably near the end of the war and I think there was only one prototype that was ever made and I think this tank still exists in the United States in a museum someplace kind of in parts or what I don't know what the condition of it is but it it is still in existence so basically it was the world's first electric um, kind of powered um, tank so basically I had this big electric motor at the back and it was run and powered by a central engine that um, ran these electrical clutches and generators or whatever and it moved the tank around so it, it had very limited ex success um, but I don't think if it would have ever ever really become anything because there was no real point to it because it didn't really um, it just became an extremely complicated tank um, another one was the um, Tiger P the Tiger P was a lot like that as well it had a really interesting uh, it, transmission setup and stuff like that anyway so in the game um, a lot of people will say like is this a good tank and I would say well uh, it's good for some things and it's horrible for what most people would want it, want it to be it it has very average speed has very average um, I would say very sluggish pickup from from dead stop um, hull traverse is it's not too bad um, the gun is a little bit um, well I'd say I would say for tier 5 it's on par I, I would say it's on par um, but you know what it has going for it is looks it's a really good looking tank and and in the game this would probably be in the top 10 top five even of like just good looking tanks just a good looking tank and um, like he's got it all fixed up with some paint job stuff here and he's done it up a little bit and um, I, I just got this badge for him on, on my third game out with it I picked up a, a, a ace badge with it um, but the replay I'm going to show you was um, beef when I was actually what got me this badge and um, wasn't the best gameplay I've ever done but but like I said I haven't played this game for like five years and I just jumped in I've been in back in for maybe 20 or 30 battles and this tank kind of always kind of interested me because it was always such a cool tank you hardly ever seen it on the field not a lot of people would play it maybe a lot of people own it but a lot of, not a lot of people play it because I would say you would have to be um, a fairly high level and and a fairly experienced player to play this tank because it has very very paper I would call it a toilet paper tank <laughs> is what I used to call them I mean wet toilet paper I mean there is nothing and nowhere on this tank that you can bounce a shot okay like everywhere on this tank um, it doesn't matter how extreme you put the angle it just doesn't matter this tank is going to take damage every single shot so you have to be extremely careful where you're gonna shoot it I mean where you're gonna drive it also look at the size of that puppy that is a nice big fat target um, not that it really matters I mean you could shoot it straight in here it's supposed to be the strongest part of the tank on the turret and it'll go in right um, I don't really know what the purpose of this tank was um, with with wargaming, but I mean I've been playing it more as a strategic spotting slash sniping tank because I don't know really else how else to play it. I can't go up with any. I can't be a supportive um, medium and just hang behind the, the heavies a little bit because I'll just get completely demolished. Literally in like three shots, this tank goes down into oblivion. So 
The one saving grace that he does have, um, he's got some four skill, like one, two, three, four, f yep, four skills on some of the the, the um, crew here. Um, and as we know, when we're getting into skills here, skills don't really kick in and really do shit until you get five. Okay, five fully maxed out skills. Um, so anyways, what I would say is like this tank would be really great for a guy that's got like a lot of time in the game, has a lot of patience, um, because this tank really requires an extreme amount of patience. And you have to play it a certain way. So you'd have to roll different lines on the map than you usually would. Um, it's not an aggressive medium, is what I would say. It's not a very fast medium, although now it goes pretty good. But I just noticed that you just got to be extremely, extremely aware. You have to have really good situational awareness, and you have to have a plan. Like, for every single map that you go into, you have to have enough experience on that map to know where all the little hidey holes and little escape routes are because you're gonna especially the escape routes you got to get in you got to pop a couple shots you got to get out now on this replay I didn't do that because I basically ran into a lemming train of retards and they were just sort of ones got you know one guy got his nose up the other guy's ass and they're just sort of following each other along um, but I did get caught a little bit, and uh, the, the, the tank did shine for me a little bit, but I had to play it a certain way, right? But anyways, um, you are good to get, I would say, 800 to 1,000 damage um, every once in a while for the average player. Um, for, for the average player, I would say this is a good 500 to 700 damage tank, which is going to make you good money if you're using standard ammunition. Now, with this tank... Um, Wargaming, pretty much, I would say, from a, I, I'm a game developer, so I look at the tank in a different way. I look at the way that things are done in the game a lot different than a lot of people would. Um, and I understand what Wargaming is doing, okay? They want you to blow away at 2,800 credits a shot <laughs> gold. And look what you get. You get 158 penetration base to 130. That's decent, at um that's damn decent at tier five right you're not going to get much more you know your damage is going to be 82 to 138 so what i've experienced is about 105 to 115 average damage with this <clears throat> also you're not guaranteed a pen every time in gold okay with gold or we used to call it gold or premium ammo whatever you want to call it i have a drink of beer here my throat's drying up but um, if you play it a certain way, you can you can get well over a thousand damage every few battles. Okay, because RNG once they see that your crew is getting a little bigger, and so you're going to get into harder battles. You're going to get into harder situations because it RNG and MM just thinks, hey, this guy can handle it, so I'm going to do this to him. So <clears throat> what I found, like you have to really play. A sniper role in this and and another thing with a tank like this is don't, just don't take yourself so serious man war gaming um, is it it's got a good game okay um, it, they do some stuff that is questionable at times of course all game companies do even I do when I'm building my games because we got to make a buck at the end of the day I got 50 people working for me that got to get paid who have children have mortgages have cars have, have, have they have lives right they got to get paid so we got to make a we got to find ways to get that money also, um, um, there's got to be a little bit of parity. So if you got this super sniper like this thing here, um, it, it makes a great sniper tank. So, but the one thing I did find though, as good as it is as a sniper, as soon as you light up a shot, the whole map knows you're there. I mean, <clears throat> not just a few guys on the other team know you're there. Everybody knows you're there it lights up like you would not believe so you, like what i do is i've been be kind of getting into the habit of one or two shots and then just running running to another hidey hole let things cool down let my ammo ammo count go way up again fire a couple more good shots and then run to another slot even if you just run back to where you were let yourself get cooled down shoot again so it's a lot of work playing this tank correctly so you can survive make good bucks but I've been having a lot of fun, and I've been getting some pretty good results. I'm only um, two or three points away 
from getting um, first set of stripes on this in, within like 30 games. Okay, so like within 30 games, I made enough damage to push this thing up to almost my first set of stripes. So we're gonna pick out one of the replays, and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna talk you through what I kind of was thinking and what I was doing, and you're gonna see some of the the, the faults of the tank, like the very glaring faults. And what you what you have to do, the biggest thing to playing any kind of tank that's got low armor um, to it and just mediocre mobility is patience. You have to have a lot of patience and you have to wait for scenarios to develop in front of you that work to your advantage and you got to be ready to, to hit them tanks on their weakest pixel, basically, right? And you gotta always, always, always have an escape route. And 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 here's the thing about escape routes. Escape routes to me are like one out of one to ten most important things in the game to do. I would say they're number two because you you've got to number one is situational import, um, awareness. You gotta have your situational awareness. Um, I would say number three would be map awareness. Like you gotta know where you gotta go in the map. But the thing is, you gotta have escape routes. You have to have a plan. So if you're rolling out with a big heavy and you got billions of hit points, and you can take a shitload of uh, bounces and you can do all this shit. That's great, okay. But when you're rolling out with wet toilet paper, with a pea shooter, like that's a whole other game. That's a whole other level of playing, okay. So you gotta have a whole different way of playing the game. And my biggest advice to you is patience. Don't listen to your team when they're screaming and yelling at you, especially the dead guys. Um, play your game, okay? Because the longer you survive, the longer you have an active game, the longer we have a chance of winning, right? So that's the way it is. Okay, let's roll over to the other side and let's uh, go and get wrecked. I'll see you on the other side, guys. Okay, here we are. And on this map, I don't have a lot of options of where I can go. So um, I'm gonna go to the left and shoot into where the Zeppelin has crashed. I'm hoping a couple of heavies go in there and they spot up a whole bunch of guys for me and I can get some damage. So I'm pretty rusty. Five years out of the game is a long time, man, and uh, I forget a lot of stuff. Um, uh, 30 games in and I'm beginning to uh, get the feel for everything again here. So it looks like the Stug is going exactly where I was thinking of going. But that's okay. There's enough room for two in there. All oh, right, on. He's knocking down a couple of trees. That's awesome. Now there is a little ledge in here that you could do some sniping if you wanted to uh, shoot up on the hill or whatever, and you would get a little bit of protection. I'll show you that really quick before every buddy gets down there and starts lighting up the enemy. I'll show that to you. But you can see I have a really nice shooting lane straight down the lane here, right? Right straight down in there. I got lots of options. See, that's pretty good, eh? That's pretty nice shooting lane. And it's not like this is a big secret or nothing. Everybody shoots in here blind. But I'm going to show you really quickly now. If you go here and you just um, you just back, you can drive up in here or back up in here, whatever which way you want to do it. But if you back up in here, there's a little ledge. And uh, if my turret's turned the other way, you can actually shoot towards the castle and uh, you get yourself some pretty good damage. Nobody really knows you're around. Okay, now everything's nicely lit up. Let's see what we can do here. I absolutely have no clue what that guy thinks he's doing. That is absolutely the most stupid place to take a light medium. But I'll take the damage. Absolutely. Absolutely I'll take the damage. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I think it finally rung his bell enough that he realized that that's not a very good spot to be. <laughs> Okay, so we got a T14, which is concerning to me because they got high mobility, they got a good gun, um, and they got pretty awesome armor uh, for tier five. They're, they're actually quite a quite quite a beast. And why did I do that? What the hell was I thinking? Right, that was a gold 
No, I was still. Uh, I didn't shoot a goal. Okay, let's shoot an ordinary round. Uh, I I didn't really quite get the angle on him. I wouldn't have went in anyway. So we're gonna shoot some gold now. Uh, it's gonna be an expensive round, but with what I'm thinking is gonna develop here, by the looks of how our heavies are just deteriorating, and where's this guy going with only 20% of his health left? I mean, what do you think you're gonna do in there, dude? Like, are you fucking serious? What the hell are you gonna do in there? Uh, okay, so our, the heavies are pushing. We got, um, that medium went down in a big heap of flames. I'm not, sh I'm not shooting my best, but we're actually getting somewhere here. Oh, that, that just totally missed. Okay, I blocked on him. Let's see what how that works. Oh, he sees me now. I gotta back out. Gotta back out. As soon as you see that turret just lock on you and they're steady, get the hell out, man. Because let me tell you something. Um, a lot of these guys have the memory of a goldfish, okay? So this guy's already forgotten that I've been around. Oh, now he sees. He says, oh, yeah, that guy up in the hill. Oh, I must go and take him out. Now, here's the big concern to me right here. This guy's coming up and he's pissed off and he's like, I'm going to get that little son of a bitch. And he's going to come up here. Uh, I don't know why. It's a lemming train. Like a lemming train. Lemmings aren't known for high intelligence. So they got a bunch of mooks coming up here. This guy's going to come up here. And I'm playing like shit compared to what I used to play. Like I'm not playing well at all. Um, okay. Uh, side hit. Side hit. And I've got one, two, three hits on me. Um, my engine, tracks, everything's holding up. Oh, shit. Was that one shot that went through the back, took the engine out, and smoked the tracks too? Was that only one shot? What's this? What the hell is this guy doing? Okay, I'm not shooting good, not shooting good. Okay. Okay, I gotta back out of here, so... Oh, what's this? A one-shot! Freaking awesome! Okay, we got ourselves uh, two kills. 1,454 damage. We got a bunch of spotting and a little bit of armor blockage. I can't expect much for armor blockage because this... I mean, getting that much armor blockage is absolute um, mercy act of God. I mean, God looked down on my tank and said, I shall just bespo bestow mercy upon your raunchy little human ass. And he... I actually blocked 30, 30 points of damage. That's, that's like the most I've ever blocked with this tank. Okay, so my uh, I'm all healed up and I'm all ready to go. Got a brand new engine. Now, my main goal right now is to, I mean, try to survive. But we've got this KV-5. We've got two KV-1s. I'm sorry, KV-1s. I'm going to let them duke it out because I just really don't think that I'm, I'm going to do well against the KV-1, even with him being dead. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go. I got a plan here. So we're going to go back up through the hidey hole. I'm going to go over by the Zeppelin, and I'm going to reassess the situation. Uh, my main goal right now isn't damage anymore because I've done extremely well for this tank. 1,400 uh, plus damage plus my spotting damage. I I've done really well. I've done a combined uh, 20... Uh, I don't know. Over 2,300, I would say. So, anyways, that's pretty damn good for tier 5 in a toilet paper tank. So, anyways, let's go over here by the Zeppelin. And, uh, hang out up in there and let's just see what's gonna, what's gonna shake down. They got three guys still alive. Hardly any hit points, of course, but, I mean, still. That already could really wreck my day with one shot. Even a splash shot. Even if he was to splash me, I would probably go down. And I want to maximize my points that I can get my XP uh, by staying alive I might I think I'll snapshot this let's see what happens 
thought I'd fire a blind shot, but they just got him. The other already just got that guy, so there you go. Um, let's just take a look around and see what's going on here. So like I said, you know, here's here's my motto, right? Like, if you're going to go down, right? If you're going to go down, you got to look good. You got to look good if you're going to go down, right? And at least in this tank, one thing it's got going for it is good looks. So you're going to look really good going down, right? So if you're going to get killed, you're going to get, you know, obliterated, you may as well look good, right? So... She's a pretty uh, nice looking tank, and it, uh, the way he's got it all done up here, it looks quite nice. So I'm going to sit up here and just see what happens. Who do we got? Who do we got here? We don't got much to worry about. So somebody just took damage down there, so somebody's right down there. So if I go down on the low ground here, try to stay out of sight, I might get one more pot shot in. And that would be nice, but I'm pretty damn happy with what I've done for my combined damage. And it's a pretty loosey-goosey game. I'm not really playing really that well. Actually, pretty shitty. But, um, if you come into a, a game and you have a plan, you have a plan, you should be able to um, do pretty good. And there you go. We have ourselves a victory. And I will meet you back in the garage. Okay, here we are. We're back. And, uh... We did alright, man. 1,400 points in damage, 800 and some odd points uh, in spotting damage. You can't really cry about that at Tier 5. Okay. Especially in a tank like this, which a lot of people, they buy because it's a hot-looking tank. I mean, it's a good-looking tank, right? But, I mean... You know, this tank's like your like like your dream girlfriend. She's beautiful. She's everything you think you, sh you you want, and then you get into it, and it's like, holy shit, this chick is a lot of work. Oh my god, I gotta strategize every day just how to talk to her. I mean, that's the type of tank that you gotta deal with, right here, right? And um, it's a beautiful tank. It's a great tank. It's 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 a good looker. Um, it's a collectible like it's one of those really rare it used to be like one of the most rare tanks in the game I, I think you had to buy there was a promotion to get this tank uh, you had to buy a bunch of t-shirts or you had to buy some something um, like a t-shirt and then you got a code and you got this tank and hardly anybody got this tank right so it was real uh, a real novelty at the time um, a, a real cool thing to have in your collection but not so much anymore because I think it's um, if you go to the depot, I think with um, uh, the store, let's go to the store, and I think with bonds, you can actually buy it now. So if you go here, um, I think I think you can actually buy it, and um, you can just buy it with bonds now, right? So. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's in here. I think I saw it on my other account right here. So, yeah, you can buy it, and it's, um, I don't know what the price of it is, probably 3000 or something. Um, so you can buy it with bonds. It's not a big deal anymore. It's not that rare of a tank. It's nothing really special. But it is kind of like an expert-level tank. Um, now, you could pad your stats with it for sure, absolutely. Um, but like I said, you got to have a plan. Um, if you don't go into this into the games with this thing and especially when this thing starts seeing tier sevens like <laughs> if you ain't got a plan man you're just a smudge on the fucking rock and that's all you are right anyways she's a hot tank it's pretty cool um and uh i like it i like it i like it a lot so i'm gonna press on and get my my first set of stripes i don't think i'll play it past the first set of stripes um because he's got some other cool tanks in here that i really like i'm gonna show you one um, I was gonna buy and I never got around to it. I'm gonna show it to you. He's got it in here and uh, I just gotta locate it here and it's a hot tank and I, I really really like it. I'm just trying to find it here um, but that's the whole thing um, is that you need to um, have a plan when you're playing these crazy tanks and um, 
if you have a plan, you're going to do good, right? So um, I don't know how many uh, World of Tanks people are going to see this this video, but um, oh, here it is. This thing, this is like a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tank. I played it for three or four battles. It just is absolutely gorgeous, and I will do a video on this later on. Um, the crew really ain't special. They ain't shit yet, but. Anyways, looks like he's got it set up pretty nice, too. He's got some nice stuff on this thing. Anyways, uh, so that's my um, little bit of uh, a review. Where did that tank go? My God, all right, uh, not that one, the Hydro. Um, that's my review on the Hydro. And by the way, the game looks a lot better than when I left. So anyways, guys, thanks for coming out to the channel and listening to my dribble. If you're not into tanks, it's cool. Don't worry. There's not going to be a lot of tanks on this channel because this channel isn't really a world of tanks type of channel. It's a first-person shooter, zombie, yeah. zombie smasher type of channel, right? But anyways, once in a while, I'll throw these up because it's just kind of uh, changes the pace a little bit, throws something a little bit interesting in there, and, you know, you never know, right? Okay. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. We're a tiny little community, and uh, we're going to grow. I'll try to keep the quality up for you and show you some interesting stuff. And uh, there won't be any cheats. There won't be any bullshit on my channel. Everything's done straight up. Anyways, I'm going to roll, man. And you guys be careful. Be uh, cool. Take it easy. Don't let, the, don't let everything get you down or anything in your life that's kind of not positive. Try to make it spin on it and make it positive. And I will see you on the next one, man. Take care. Bye for now.